Hi guys. So we are going to be continuing, and this is our last day working on this sound of ed, of ed. Um, ed has the three sounds, but I wanted to to say great job, guys. I know it's a really tough sound, so just keep trying your best. It's not something that you might get right away because there are three different rules, but I want you just to keep trying your best. And if I have not, I've not accepted your um, ed. Uh, sort it's because I would like to work on it with you because there might be a couple mistakes. Okay, friends All right, so we have three sounds of ed So first rule is ed says ed or id after a t or a d So if we have that t or d in that word at the end at the be before the ed Then we, it would say ed like skated landed painted Okay, then the next rule is ed says t after an unvoiced sound. So that means, remember, unvoiced means that you're not feeling that little vibration here in the, in the neck. So that means that s, x, k, p, f, ch, and sh are all unvoiced sounds. So for example, it says locked, crashed, jumped, stopped, and asked. They're making that t sound for the ed. And last one is ed says d. So after a voice sound, that's when our neck does make that little vibration. So for example, shaved, called, cried, studied, and screamed. So the ED is making the D sound. So we have ED says, ED says ed, ED can say t, and ED can say d. So what I need you to go ahead and grab is your whiteboard marker and eraser. We're going to be doing the same activity that we were doing last time where we would write the word, figure out which rule applies, and then um, writing the ED and saying the word with the correct sound. Okay. So first things first is we're going to write the word fade. What is the word? Fade. So go ahead, write fade, F-A-D-E. Okay. So fade. And here, we know that the sound that we're hearing is the D sound. So D, what rule will apply? Well, when it has a D sound before the ED, it's going to say ed. So when what sound do we hear? We hear the D, and what's the rule? So now, we're not going to add another ED in this one. We're just going to add the D here because it already has an E. So it's going to say fade ed. Say it with me, fade ed. Very good, all right, go ahead and erase. Next one, we're going to write, and faded means when our jeans are not all the colors there or when something gets kind of light. All right, next word is crash. So go ahead and write crash on your board. C-R-A-S-H, so crash. So. What sound do you hear at the end of the word? So I'm seeing the sh sound. What sound? Sh. And we know that the sh sound is unvoiced. So what rule is going to apply? We know that it's going to be the t sound because it is unvoiced. So go ahead and add the ed and say crashed. Say with me, crashed. Very good. Awesome job. All right, go ahead and erase. We have about two more we're going to do. All right, and next one is fold, fold. Go ahead and write it, F-O-L-D. What sound do you hear at the end? Well, at the end of the word, I'm hearing the D sound. So what rule is going to apply? I want you to tell somebody next to you. You're correct. The rule that's going to apply is this one here. It's going to make the ed sound because it has a d. So fold, and then we're going to add that ed. Now we're going to say the word folded. Say it with me, fold ed. Very good. And go ahead and erase, and we have one more. All right, this one is land. Go ahead and write it. L-A-N-D, land. What sound do you hear at the end of the word? Well, I hear the d at the end. So go ahead and tell somebody what rule will we what will apply. Will it be ed t or d? 
you're correct, it's going to be the d sound because it had, or ed sound because it has the d at the end. So go ahead and add the ed. And now let's say it. Say landed. Landed. Very good. All right, what I want you to grab next is your I planted uh, decodable and your highlighter. Alrighty, so here we go. So we're looking for the ED sound and just so that you guys know all the words here are going to be applied to the rule of ed. Okay, so plant ed and then all the rest of the words are going to have that ed sound, not the d or the t sound. So I plant ed. So go ahead and highlight ED. Okay, go ahead, open up, read the first page. Oh, that title is there again. Plant ed. Making sure we're highlighting that ed sound. Alrighty. Okay, go ahead and grab your pointer finger and you're reading with me. I want ed to grow flowers. So I count ed, counted my seeds. Then I plant ed them. I planted and planted and planted. So go ahead and go and highlight all the eds. So I wanted, counted, planted, 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 and planted. All right. Let's keep going. Next, I add ed added water to my seeds. I added and added and added. So added has the ed, making that ed sound. All right, go ahead and turn it over. Page three, I wait ed, waited, for my seeds to grow. I waited and waited and waited. I waited such a long time. Go ahead and highlight the ed and waited. Awesome job. And we are on our last page, page number four. last my flowers grew I counted them I counted and counted and counted I had three flowers so counted has the ed sound in it alrighty awesome job boys and girls so now your seesaw activity is going to be where you are reading sentences that have the ed words in them. So for example, it's going to look just like this where you are going to be reading words that have ed in them but within a sentence. So it looks just like this. So you're gonna be dragging the word that fits the blank and then you're gonna record yourself reading the sentence with the ed word. All right, boys and girls, if you have any questions, please let me know. Bye-bye.